Hello everyone, how to install Windows 11 24 H2? Before getting started, let me make it clear that currently Windows 11 24 H2 is not available publicly for everyone. So if you want to try it out, you have to be download the ISO from the Microsoft Insider program. So let's just go ahead and start downloading the ISO of the Windows 11. So first search for Windows Insider, uh, Windows Insider program and then search for it and now go ahead open the microsoft insider program website make sure that you are logged in with your microsoft account if you do not have microsoft account you need to create one following by that you have to scroll down uh, under the quick connect you have to click on iso it will take you to another page or you can say the download page for the preview iso of the windows so once you are here you have to scroll down to the end and now you have to select an edition of the windows 11 so if you want to try out the windows 11 24h2 make sure that you download the uh canary you, ha you have to download the iso from the canary or the dev channel because without that it's not going to work so confirm and now you have to select the language again confirm following by that you have to click on 64-bit download and once it is ready you have to just simply okay I have already downloaded this one so for now I'm going to cancel that now if you want to perform a clean installation inside your computer following by that you need also another application called rufus.ia because with this application I'm going to create a bootable USB other than that you can always use the CMD however I think it is more comfortable with me so just simply click on the portable version and download it inside your computer okay i already have that one too go ahead and close that after downloading the required applications you have to attach the usb flash drive to the computer make sure that the usb is at least an 8 gb in my case it is 16 gb so for now i'm going to uh, launch the rufus application tap on yes from here you have to select the usb which it has selected by default from there you have to click on select and now select the windows 11 iso that you downloaded earlier following by that you have to select the partition scheme or you can say a partition style in my case mostly the windows 11 supports the uefi with the gpt partition following by that select the file system and now click start from here uh, if your pc is an older version for instance it does not have a secure board or tpm you can just simply go ahead and remove them other than that you can just uh, leave it as default as it is so for now i will leave it as that is now you have to wait a while until it's going to uh, partition and then copy the iso file inside the usb flash drive Once the USB flash drive is ready and you are good to go, you can just go ahead and restart your computer. But before getting into installation, let me tell you what are the system requirements for Windows 11 24H2. First, the processor has to be 1 GHz or faster. And then uh, the RAM should be at least 4 GB. And then storage should be at least 64 GB. A system framework of UEFI is required and also TPM version 2. Finally, internet connection is also required if you uh, if you are using the Windows 11 Home Edition. Aside from that, in the processor, you will also need to check for POP CNT. That is another requirement that Microsoft has added for the Windows 11 24H2. Now, how to check if your system is capable of uh running the or how to check if your computer has the ability to check for the pop cnt pop cnt i think i have already created a, a video for that inside my channel and here you can see check if your pc has pop cnt or not that is the video that you can find out but if i have to put it in simple words uh computers who are in core i3 core i5 uh, core i7 or 9 this pc has pop cnt mostly pop cnt is not available in older computers like uh, core 2u or you can say dual core or pentium 4 and other older computers so in simple terms new computers have all of these features so you have to check or you have to watch this video because that is really necessary if your computer is really really old so once you are done from there, you have to go ahead, restart your computer or 
let me tell you a, a secret method you have to open the settings following by that you have to go to windows update and now go to the advanced option following by that you have to go to recovery and now from here you have to just simply click restart now it is going to restore your computer you have to click on restart now from here you have to select use a device in that case that will be the usb flash drive that you have added there in my case i'll be selecting for now the seed room now you have to wait it's going to restart your computer and then it will directly boot your computer into the, U the usb flash drive so as you can see this is as much as simple as you can see you have to select the language and click next following by that you have to select a keyboard layout and now you have to select install windows 11 and also select i agree everything will be detected so it removed including app settings and now you have to enter a license key if you do not have just simply select i do not have a license key and now wait a while until uh, it is going to get ready a few things from here you have to select an edition of the windows that you want to try in my case i'll be trying the windows 11 pro click next and accept to the terms and condition You have to select the disk where you want to install it in my case i have a completely new disk so i'll be selecting that and click next and now everything is ready just simply click install and it is going to start installing windows 11 24 h2 okay finally we are here from here you have to select your region select your keyboard layout go ahead name your computer set up for personal use You have to sign in with the Microsoft account. Without it, you cannot sign in. Okay, there are times when you cannot type any specific letters. Like, I want to type at the rate, it is not showing me. So, in such cases, you have to press Shift F10 on your keyboard. You have to go ahead, type OSK. It is launch going to launch the uh, following by that you have to enter your password Congratulations for successfully installing Windows 11 inside your system. So now after the installation, you have to go ahead, uh, install the drivers and set up your computer. So this is the method that you can use to simply install Windows 11 inside your computer. I hope this video should help you a lot.